Hey, what's up gamers? Um, might as well do another game review, and this time it's another one that I've anticipated for this year. Street Fighter V, so let's get the Hadoukens and Sonic Booms, because it's finally here, and how well does it live up to the hype? Is it actually good? Okay, first things first, this is obviously only a PS4 slash PC exclusive. For you Xbox One owners, may I address once again, it's not available for Xbox One for some particular reason. I think it has something to do with Capcom's, I don't know, some kind of licensing agreement or some sort, but there are things I have to compliment. There are things I have to complain about as well as, you know, complimenting. Because this game, first of all, the presentation of this game is very well done. I mean, yes, it's animated, but if you played the past installments to this series, like Street Fighter 4 or Super Street Fighter 4 or whatever, you will be really pleased by the presentation of this game. The graphics and background effects are fantastic. I mean, yes, I know there's not actual, like, you know, I know the cutscenes in between are, you know, story mode are animated and they're still images, but it's really well done for the most part. I mean, the production value is really good, even though most of the time it's a little bit repetitive, but it's what you'd expect out of this game. Yes, I know the voices are iffy, and yes, I played this at New York City Comic Con, so I was really excited to play this right off the bat. So I don't think I really got the full impression of what to expect out of this game. So I guess you could say I'm kind of the guinea pig on this one, you know, like anybody else's when you buy a game when it first comes out. But this is what you expect. But first things I'm disappointed with I may have to address is the lack of content. Yes, I know anybody can agree this game is lacking on content because yes, you do get a lot of new characters. But the one thing I was really disappointed with when I bought this game, when I first picked it up at GameStop, is being offered the Season Pass thing for characters. Now, okay, when I bought Injustice God Among Us, or any other fighting game, you're going to get offered other stuff because it's pretty obvious that there's going to be stuff available in the near future. Like, there's going to be, obviously, with Mortal Kombat X, they still have the characters coming for that game. Um you know, in the XL edition, so it's pretty obvious they're obviously going to release, you know, Super Street Fighter V and Ultra Street Fighter. They're going to milk the hell out and make this a whole new series. So, yeah, I guess I can agree on some people's arguments somewhat, but, you know, patience, people, because obviously these are for characters and skins, of course, that are not yet out, and obviously if you buy the season pass, it costs less than having to pay for the characters individually, so if you approach it mathematically, you'll definitely see that. But, yeah, I guess I could argue that there's not many new characters, and they subtracted a few, you know, compared to the previous installments in the game series. So, yeah, for 60 bucks, they should have had more. And there's other stuff, like the shop option, you know, and the challenges, which weren't available when I first bought this game. But you don't have to pay for that stuff. The challenges, they are going to be available free of charge, and that's what it said when I first picked this up. So... Yeah, it seemed like they could have put more time and actually finished this game and released it completely finished. But, so those are the only things I was really annoyed with. Other than the fact that the story mode, not really much of a story, all you do is fight opponents, um, and you rank up points as well, and there's different trophies, and the survival mode is pretty much the only basic single player mode in the game. So, and you can play other players, you know, human players, and the online mode, it works pretty well. Just having to wait you know, for your challenge to uh, come in on the load screen to get, you know, to play online. Can take a little while. You got, of course, the battle lounge, the ranch matches, and, of course, casual match, but Jesus Christ, I seem to get my ass kicked a lot in this game, but I still enjoy this game for what it is. But, overall, it's not bad, but I really wish when you play online you just are brought up to the character selection screen rather than having to pick a favorite character, because then you have to switch before you pick your match. Otherwise, you're stuck playing with that character. Otherwise, it's pretty good. If you're a Street Fighter fanatic, i definitely pick this one up. Though you might be a little disappointed. I, I respect that. But overall, I'm fairly pleased with this game. I can't say that I really am far disappointed, but... And eh, what are you going to do? I mean, Capcom, it's like any other company. It's a capitalist that pretty much wants to milk the hell out of this franchise for what it is. But overall, for fairness... I give it a pretty good rating of rocking Wii Remote Wii Motion Plus up and playing Wii Remote up not all the way, but I think that's fair. So, until next time, 
keep watching.